So this is a book I've made for a, a small exhibition uh, called uh, Union of Voice, A Union of Voices, which is opening on Friday, and it's all uh, books made by artists, but it will also be available to see in the Cock and Ball show. And I just wanted to put this little book, book together, um, because I've been doing so many drawings since I've been in Maastricht, basically, um, you know, th there's a different selection of drawings, a lot of them are uh, drawings I see in museums, or um, drawings I do for my imagination, or... Um, yeah, drawings I, or, 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 or reliefs that I see on the street. These, this, uh, these images here are some things I saw in, on um, some reliefs I saw on the street in uh, Amsterdam. Some kind of street reliefs or sculptures, you could call them. Um, these are some images that I saw from a painter called Max Beckman. These ones here uh, that I saw in a museum in um, Cologne, and then these are some kind of African tribal images that I saw in Liège. And uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot into uh, Bruegel the Younger um, and Bruegel the Elder. So I, I go and look at um, some, there's a great room of Bruegels in, uh, in Brussels Museum. Um, and there's some more Beckman drawings here. So I kind of like this, you know, kind of idea of traveling through art history um, and, and making a selection of images and then and just kind of yeah, making these weird juxtapositions um, of different, different moments from art history, different moments from my own um, imagination. This is some Enter images, and then some just some drawings that I just do out of my so I, out of my out of my uh, imagination. And I think so. In a way, there's this idea of kind of cultural cannibalism. It's a Brazilian idea of cultural cannibalism, and uh, there's yeah, the idea of the cannibal eating culture. I, I eat culture and I I ingest it. Um, yeah, and and then, and then, and in a way that I then I somehow become even though I'm 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 kind of appropriating um, so many images that the, 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 the key thing is that I'm central to the story of the appropriation. All the images go through me. These are some images by uh, George Gross, who I'm a huge fan of. And yeah, you know, all the, all the kind of expressionist work uh, by Germans after the First or Second World War always interests me hugely. And uh, that, yeah, again, it's that kind of it's similar in, in a lot of my works that we talked about in the wood carvings. There's there's that sense of kind of sleaze and um, uh, grit and grime and you know something something not uh, not totally palatable, which I find funny. Um, these are some images by Karen Apple and um, Jean-Michel Basquiat. I drew I made some details of some drawings by Jean-Michel Basquiat, which I'd resisted for a long time. But then finally I gave in and, and, I, and I was very happy with the Jean-Michel Basquiat images. So yeah, I basically, basically people often compare my work um, to Jean-Michel Basquiat, which is obviously a great um, uh, compliment and, you know, but I, don't, I, I, but I don't, but I do, yeah, but I, but I want to, I, I also think that I, I, I want broader, um, I think what I'm doing is also much broader than only that. I'm a huge fan of Jean-Michel Basquiat, but I'm also a huge fan of, um, uh, yeah, you know, George Gross or, um, uh, you know, Street Parade in Liège, which these are based on. Um, so I, I kind of want the broadness of, of um, the practice to be uh, looked at rather than only focusing on, on um, one, you know, well-known um, American uh, painter. These are some uh, images from some churches in Maastricht and then some images of some um, Dutch or, or, or uh, uh, yeah, some Dutch soldiers from the medieval period. So I'm, if, I'm often interested in um, yeah, medieval uh, imagery. Um, I think this is some more uh, images by, from paintings from Bruegel from the National Gallery in London. Um, also the, the, the layout of this book um, was done by an amazing um, uh, German uh, designer called um, Anton uh, Stuckart, if I can pronounce it correctly. So Anton did an amazing work with the, uh, the layout of the images, because I had so many images, but he managed to, to, to put them together in a, a very interesting way, I thought. These are some images by, um, based on Toulouse Trek and uh, Picabia, and then combined with some African tribal, um, tribal imagery. And there's some more by Picabia here, and then some more from my imagination. And then there's a short story that I wrote, which is very much set in London, um, about cycling in London and a kind of perverse... Uh, take on cycling in London and then there's also uh, scattered throughout the book and on the cover there are a lot of these little maps that I often draw just literally for functional reasons just to find my way around when I'm trying to find somewhere 
I'll often just draw these very simple little maps to try and find what I'm looking for. And then, then these are some more recent images of um, kind of slower drawings that I've been doing, again, based on art historical imagery. Uh, this, these, are some, these are some works that were in progress based on um, some Piero de Cosimo images from the National Gallery, I think it was. And then there are some of the initial, uh, initial sketches of this Piero de Cosimo. And basically, when we did the book, we just scanned all the images and took the works at the stage that they were at. These, these, these drawings have probably all been finished now. And then these are some other images from uh, the museum in, um, in Brussels. And I kind of like these images, these medieval depictions of heaven and hell and people, uh, you know, getting, getting dragged into hell or ascending to heaven. Because I, I like, because often these drawings are made with, with uh, kind of big markers. And, 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 but even in this book, you get the quality. There's something contemporary about them somehow. Um, but also they look medieval. They look a little bit like kind of rock album, you know, heavy rock or heavy metal album covers to me. But they also have the sense of this kind of intense doodles. It's like something you draw on the phone if you're on the phone for like an hour. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's what I find interesting about these weird, weird medieval scenes, you know. And again, similar to the, the uh, Mesolithic um, imagery, there's something about the medieval scenes, uh, I think, which, which seems that... Uh, even though they're medieval, there's something contemporary about the mindset of the people in them. It's not so far removed. These kind of this is a kind of brutal um, kind of war scene of someone of some of soldiers, you know, taking over a castle. And it, but it, you know, it could easily be, you know, Afghanistan or Iraq somehow as well. And then these are some more. These are some other. This is a kind of different series of drawings. I often do the, the interesting thing about this book as well. Just to mention is I often do these drawings in seri in sets of four. I do four drawings at a time. So so. Um, yeah, all the, all the images are, on, are, are set out in, in sets of four. But, but the way Anton's done it is he's, he's mixed them up a little bit. Sometimes he keeps the original four, but sometimes he, he mixes them up. And these are, these are some, um, some images that I drew from uh, some kind of paintings that I saw in the, um, the Maritime Museum in, in Greenwich. So they kind of relate to kind of colonial, weird colonial history. And um, yeah, and there's a kind of, again, a kind of, kind of, Voodooish uh, ritual element to those images somehow, and, and then yeah, there's, the, the darkness of them is great, and the, you just see the flags and the skulls, but it's very hard to work out what's actually happening, which I like. Yeah, and that's 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 that.